can't sell a car unless it's legal from an emission standpoint. And the Rauch Stage 3 is obligated to meet the same emission requirements that any other automaker makes, which is one of the things that sets us apart from kit cars. The um, federal test procedure requires us to drive according to a prescribed speed at a given time. It's called the Drive, drive Trace. It was developed in 1962 called the LA4 drive cycle. It's about seven and a half miles long, and when I drive the vehicle, I will be looking here at the monitor to make sure that I'm maintaining the target speed. Now that the vehicle is, is been soaked at 70 degrees, we're gonna start the vehicle, uh, simulating a cold start in your driveway at home. Turn the key on, connect the data acquisition system. Everything looks good, traction control's off, heater's off, radio's off. And we're ready for the cold start. And we're off and running. This is where we measure the emissions from our powertrain programs. The exhaust sample from the vehicle passes through the uh, various signal conditioning systems and then it is put into these bags. And after it's put into the bags, it's analyzed in these uh, analyzers. 98% of the emissions that are made occur in the first 25 or 30 seconds of the test. My name is Terry Hendricks. I'm the chassis manager for Roush Performance Products. Here at Roush, we work on the chassis system of the vehicle, which comprises the braking and chassis, which involves ride and handling. From a brake performance standpoint, we want to make sure that our upgrade matches the components and the rest of the brake system to try to improve overall braking performance. Hi, my name is Scott Chapman. I'm uh, the test driver for Roush. My primary responsibility is chassis engineering. My other responsibilities include making sure this car keeps smiles on everybody's faces. <laughs> Basically, this is the Roush drive system. Right here, we have uh, the steering wheel torque and angle sensor. Up front, we have the, the speed sensor, measures speed in two directions, lateral and longitudinally. And on the sides of the car, we have the height sensors, which can be used for measuring body pitch and dive and body roll. We try to combine the best and safest setup along with the best performance setup as to where the people can go out and have fun in their car and run it at the limit and still not hurt themselves unintentionally. We're doing all this just to improve the performance of the stock GT for the person that wants a little bit more or a lot more performance depending on which stage Mustang they get.